Praise be Jesus Christ, so many of the saints and mystics were shown purgatory, and many of them were visited by souls who were undergoing the purifying fires of purgatory. Now, Scripture does speak about these purifying fires. We're told, first of all, in Revelation, that nothing unclean can enter the heavenly Jerusalem. Nothing unclean can enter heaven. And St. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, he says, The fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work which any man has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved but only as through fire. Now, I used to think if I get to purgatory, I'm good. It means I'll eventually get to heaven and spend eternity in heaven. I don't think that way anymore. I don't want to go to purgatory. I don't want to be purified in purgatory. I want the purification to happen in this life. I want to let God get rid of all the rot in my life, all the impurity in my life, in this life, and not in purgatory. And I'll tell you why. It's because I've been given, perhaps, a vision or an understanding of purgatory that's very simple, that's not terribly profound, but it has affected me tremendously. And it's the image of going to a dentist. Now, I go to the dentist regularly at a convenient time. I don't have to wait long. It's a quick uh, teeth cleaning. I haven't had cavities in years. It's all good. I have a wonderful dentist. It's all good. However, when I was a teenager, I wasn't taking the best care of my teeth. And one summer, I had to go to the dentist a few times to get cavities filled. There was rot in my mouth. It was giving me bad breath. I had to get my cavities filled. Now, it was summertime. My brothers were out going on adventures, having fun, and here I am sitting in a dentist chair. Now, dentists are typically the nicest people in the world. They're good people who are helping us, and they know what they're doing, and they do their work with great care, with great precision. They make us better, and typically a dentist's office, it's, it's it's a comfortable place. They have pleasant music and all this. However, who wants to spend their summer in a dentist chair when you can be out on adventures with your brothers? And to me, this is the image of purgatory that's made the biggest impression on my life. Again, a simple image, not the most profound, but think about it. If there's rot in our lives that we're not allowing God to purify, that we're not allowing Jesus to save us from, it will have to be purified. And they say if you wait till purgatory to let God purify you, you will find yourself going through a much bigger ordeal than having allowed God to purify you in this life. They say allowing God to purify you in this life is so much more simple and easy. If you wait till purgatory, it's apparently going to be a huge ordeal compared to what could have been done in this life. Something as simple as forgiving someone who hurt you. Not a complicated thing to do. It's hard, yes, but do it now. Because if you have to undergo the purifying fires on your heart that has become hardened through unforgiveness in purgatory, they say it's not going to be pretty. Now is the time to be purified. And so that we can enjoy this life as well. If we allow God to purify us in this life, we will have a better life now and we will be able to skip purgatory and go straight to heaven. Let's make that our goal. Viva Cristore!